Greetings one and all, this is Riddleworks and welcome to my channel with an addition to the Share Factory tutorial series which I had uploaded onto YouTube, my channel, all of a few months ago. And for those who are unfamiliar with the application, it is simply a video editing um, software that is free in your PS4 library which you can download if you haven't done so already. I do suggest that if you are toying with the idea of becoming a YouTuber and you don't have the equipment, the editing equipment or software, this is a perfect entry level application to use. I do recommend it. The only downside is, is that the microphone, which is included as part of your PlayStation camera, does sound a bit crap on the footage, but it's a great entry level starting kit, you know, just to kind of see if it's something you really want to get into. And if so, you know, you're going to have to upgrade your equipment. But in the meantime, Share Factory is a good place to start, if any, because it's a part of the PS4 system. So um, if you're not familiar with my series, my tutorials on how to go around the interface and how to utilize your effects and your transitions and stuff like that, check it out. It's all part of the playlist um, on my channel. But this time around, I'm actually gonna go into some of the new features which are included as part of the upgrade, the update as it were. And the update consists of new themes, um, three of which are Destiny, Little Big Planet 3, PS 2015. You also have um, Plants vs Zombies, I do believe. And you are more than able to actually upload your footage directly to YouTube or Facebook without having to actually come out of the application first. So you can do it directly from Share Factory and release it, upload it onto YouTube and Facebook, which is a great thing. It's a great shortcut. But anyway, just want to show you some of the features that are included in the new update. So let's go. Right. So as you can see, going into the menu now, you also have the addition of the new themes. Um, and um, if you're if you are familiar, you know what the new Project My Project My Gallery new, My Gallery sections are. But the new themes is the new addition that is added. So if you go into there, okay, there you go. You can see all of the themes that are included, which you have Share Factory's eighties theme, which is oh, it's retailed at seventy nine pence. Um, let's see what it says. Yeah, yeah, basic. I mean, why would I want an 80s theme for 79 pence in 2015? I don't know. But, you know, there are some people who would go for that. There you have the um, PES um, 2015. I don't play the game, so it's not worth me having that. On the other hand, I do play Destiny. And I do play Plants v Zombies. I don't play Little Big Planet 3. And I no longer play Killzone. But um, you understand the concept, right? So, as you can see, I purchased... Destiny and Plants vs. Zombies because I do play those two games. Now, to integrate those themes within your projects, I'm going to start a new project right now. And as you can see, all the themes are here, as you can see. Um, infamous. you got a shooter theme. you got a football theme um, that was included as part of the World Cup circus that was going on. Um, Battlefield Hardline theme, Last of Us, 30 Years of Naughty Dog, the Anniversary theme, The Evil Within, which I don't play, um, Horror theme, Now Destiny and Plants v Zombies Garden Warfare. So I'm going to choose the Destiny theme and if you want to check out and see how long they are and how they look, you just got to press R2 and there you go. I tend not to use the titles, the titles because they just run for too long and it's pretty boring. Um, although you can edit them, it just looks unconsequential. Do you know what I mean? I like my video intros and outros to be snappy and fast. Get right into the action. Um, but like I said, you can add, you, you can edit the 10 second clips, um, tailor it to how you want to tailor it and put your, um, your eye dents or your social media addresses down and stuff you know pretty simple pretty simple fit okay so what i'm gonna do i'm going to just utilize oops yeah i'm just gonna come out of these and go by game and look through my destiny footage and yeah check that out okay and then 
and start my project. I don't need to rename it, continue it. Okay. And as you can see, it's got the intro. And it will transition into the gameplay. Now, another thing, another feature that is included in this update is the feature where you can actually utilize your um, your avatars as well. Um, and the way to do that is, uh, let's have a look here, press square for edit. No, it's not edit. What am I talking about? It's adding effects. Ah, you dumb dumb. Okay, add effects. All right, so the avatars will be under the stickers. Um, there you go. You can see my, my PlayStation avatars there. And you can see my Facebook avatar there. So I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my Facebook avatar. Select that. And um, when you see it, it looks a bit huge. But the simple thing you can do is to press L1 to decrease the size. Just hold L1 or you hold R1 to increase the size. But you're not going to want it to over, overshadow your footage, are you? You're not that dumb. So to get it to a nice decent size, so I'll just bring it down to something like that. Pretty useful and um, also you want to firm that up by pressing X and go to opacity and edit that and bring it down or bring it up right it somewhere in between like that basically that more or less so you can just scroll right across your footage and it will still be there if you don't like the position where it is you can simply edit your effects transform and bring it anywhere around the screen you want to place it Oh, and before I forget, there are also um, transitions that relates to the themes that you are using for your gameplay footage. For example, Destiny, as you can see, which I'm using, there are transitions that relates to that game. So if you're going to add transition and you will see nine different types of transitions you can use correlating with Destiny, the game. And um, I'm going to give them a test drive. See how they look. Just press R2 just cycle through each one of them see which ones takes your fancy and then you just add the transitions that you want or you need and there are also screenshots that are available for you to use as well so for example destiny again if i want to use a screenshot for destiny i just press x add screenshot and there you have a list of screenshots available for you to use and there are nine. And if you go into each specific theme, like Plants vs. Zombies, or PES 2015, or Little Big Planet 3, it kind of permutates the same way for each theme. So you will find transitions that relate to every theme that you want to use in your Share Factory footage. Okay, so for example, I'm going to choose this one here add the screenshots and it's there yeah so there you go transitions into screenshots so there's many different ways you can utilize the elements of the theme that you have as part of your destiny theme or as part of the game theme that you choose to use in your share factory app and that is more or less it. Um, your options, you can export to gallery. Oops, let me just go back. 
I don't really I don't really want to save it but for those who are interested in getting into the share factory app you can check out um, my tutorials they will go in depth as to what you need to do how you how you can jazz up your scenes how you can jazz up your gameplay your titles your effects your levels how to import music from your hard drive into the ps4 and utilize that in your clips as well you know it, it goes in it goes in depth um, but I do make it simple so check it out but anyway that's more or less it that's just to give you a rundown of the new features as it were the themes and um, the new avatars that are included well the availability of using your own avatars I should say in your gameplays and stuff like that and that's more or less it for the share factory update I hope you've enjoyed this footage um, this little short tutorial and until I catch you guys on the next one stay blessed whatever the console media format genre happy gaming because that's what it's all about ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and I really do suggest you know if, if, if you're not really into the whole game capturing thing and you just want to try it out you know just for your own pleasure without having to go on YouTube and all that stuff just try it out you know just see how it grabs you um, it's, it's, it's pretty neat but I do stress and I do add it's an entry level thing but I know a lot of YouTubers use this as a shortcut you know just to edit as best way they can if they want to do box standard edits they just basically do it off this or if they want to go the extra mile they will literally um, copy it onto a USB drive and then you know put it on their own editing software so there's many different ways you can utilize the whole share factory app you know what i mean it's not just restricted to the playstation 4 itself but anyway like i said whatever the media format genre game platform whatever happy gaming because that's what it's all about ladies and gentlemen and until i catch you guys on the next one happy gaming happy game capturing happy editing stay blessed mcgahn Watch the rain.